two is going to be Tweak against Dark Wizzy. Neither one of those young men have dropped the game yet so far in this tournament. So, I mean, obviously that that's going to have to change. But yeah. so we're that's the top 32. Stay tuned for that later later today. But now we're going to hop a little bit in the time machine and go back. <laughs> It's the way, top way 128. Are we in pools? Oh, goodness. Okay, so it's going to be... You got Cargo on the pink DK against uh, Mika Mora on uh, Palutena. Yeah. All right, and this is a... This is a scary matchup for DK. DK okay. is going to have a decent normal, but obviously he's going to be able to kind of use that up angle, F tilt, or up tilt. Of course, that bear as well is going to be a really good tool. But once the poly goes in, best believe the wheel of fortune will never stop spinning. It is ridiculous. So you have to respect it. Let's also talk about how Palu has the auto reticle too. It's going to be a good tool to keep DK out. All right. No, but okay. Yeah. Can you hear me right I'm now? His blessing. <laughs> <laughs> you heard me, honestly. We're so close to the stage, but either way, here we go. Cargo in a good situation here. Nope. Looks like Mika Moore just going to sneak right by him. Yeah. Oh, boy. Here we go. There Wheel of Fortune, like you said. Yep. Easy money. Okay, for the down air. I like the attempt. I like the attempt. To send an early message. You know, exactly. you got to steal, steal the uh, – or set the pacing uh, in your favor. And the thing is, too, like, DK can get become a really scary character, especially if he has a lead and you're forced to approach against him. Yep. Coverage there with the down B, too. Yeah, really good option there. Full jab. He's going to get shield. And that's Ooh. an easy bear out of shield. Great punish. Ledge play. What's the option here? Uh, I love the usage of that teleport on stage. I am glad that a lot of the colleagues are doing that now because it is very, very low cooldown on that teleport as of now in this game. So it's really, really important to have that as a mix-up when you're trying to get from the ledge. Absolutely, yeah. The opponent essentially has to hard commit to, to beating you there, especially with a character yep. like DK who's not very fast, so he's going to have to really commit to uh, catching up to that teleport. But now we see most of Flame coming out, not enough, but that back air has really been doing wonders for Mikamura in this first stock, and here comes the Explosive Flame. Such a hard thing for DK to deal with, just projectiles over and over, but now Cargo's going to have to recover off the ledge. Yeah, absolutely. And I just love, I just love seeing this matchup because it's just like this big, <laughs> great cape. <laughs> he's just running around, dude, and this nice. princess is like, he's just been trying to catch her all day, you know, like King Kong, but he just can't get her. It's like an upgrade because he's, you know, the first time we saw DK, he was uh, capture, capturing, uh, it wasn't Peach, it was... Uh, Who's, who's the princess from uh, uh, from Odyssey? Yeah, Odyssey. Oh, my gosh. What's her name? Yeah, I can picture her perfectly. Starts with an F. Starts with a what? Does it start with an F? F? I don't think so. It doesn't? Does it? I don't know, man. All right, we're going to look it up. But yeah. either way, so DK I trying to kidnap enough. another pretty lady here, but he's going to take the first stock. Nice job there by Cargo. Not too much in a deficit here now. 60% he's going to have to get up the ledge, though. DK is so weak at the ledge and just going through the explosive flame. Very good coverage. I like this. Mika Moore standing at the roll distance yep. and then just using explosive flame. Good timing on the get up yeah, there from Cargo. Very, very good timing because that is a very difficult tactic for DK to actually really get around. Oh, Paul Paulina? Is that what it is? Yes, Paulina. Yes, You're right. okay. All right, nice. all right. Nice, okay. nice. There we go. Got we it, got it, got it. Yes, yeah. yes, exactly. There okay, there, there we go. Yeah. Nice. Right, here we go. Mika Moore trying to extend this lead here. Looking for the pressure with a down air. Okay, Cargo. Or option. Okay. Yeah. Good shield work there. Getting the back air too. That's the thing. If you attack the back side of DK shield, you gotta you gotta get ready for that back air. It's definitely oh, yeah, gonna be the, the go-to punishment option. It's just not only is it a really good punishment tool, but it also is like DK muscle memory. It's like one of his best aerials, if not straight up his best aerial. Yeah. Wow, nothing. Look at that grab range for Palu is so good. Our good bear can you know, side the stage. Opportunity. Let's, oh, just not get the grab there. And of course, because he's going to be able to escape away, get back on stage and maintain that stage control. Mika mm -hmm. more good patience there. He's sitting his shield a little longer than you think he might. Not getting too trigger happy. Looking for a nair that oh. time. Okay. Mixing up his uh, aggression off stage. I like it. Again, these beautiful uh, ledge jumps into teleport still have not been punished. Yeah, it's kind of like the opposite, right? Like, DK gets so pinned at the ledge, and he has such a hard time getting off yeah. of it. That Nair, so close to the blast zone. Even a heavy character like DK, he's going to be able to live, actually. Look for the counter. Oh. What a smooth recovery. Okay, Cargo. Right. Oh, right. That was nice. You're going to need a bit more than that, man. It's not just about recovery. You need to take that stock right now. Yes. Light. Yeah. Lingering the, hit, the lingering hitbox right there is crazy good at catching neutral get-ups. Very well done by Mika Mora. I think that's the first time we saw up smash at the ledge, actually. It also can catch ledge jump, too. So it's just, just a good call-out situation right there for Mika Mora. Taking that game one down in a pretty convincing fashion. And it's just like the disadvantage for DK, I mean, in pretty much every matchup is just really bad. That's definitely where the character struggles both yep. on the ledge 
not just on the ledge, but also, you know, getting off the ledge, but also getting comboed by Palu. Like, yeah. there's a character that really feels, you know, the full force of the Nair into Nair into up air. It's yeah. DK's one of them for sure. Okay, yep, okay. I like this. I like the switch for sure. Yes. Cargo, the name doesn't match as nice. I mean, I love the cargo with the DK. I like right. that he tried his tried yep. and true main, but now he's going to go with the Fox. Potentially a character he has just for bad matchups. That in DK has, he has plenty of bad matchups. Oh, yes, so he does. He's got to learn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. got to learn another character. Yep. <laughs> He's gonna stick with the original 64 roster though. So going to the Fox, I okay. like it. Yeah, really well done. Uh, definitely a really solid character here. Kind of have that burst range and deal with Ooh. a lot of the trappings that we saw from Paul Tan. And also can go ahead and, especially on these triplats, really make good use of them. Extend those combos. Get good damage. Pulling the stock very quickly. That's the thing about having like the pocket that someone might not be ready for is their bands might be aligned with your main character. So yep. you know you band according to DK, but here comes a box of back air. Great tech though. Here comes Cargo. He's gonna try to recover again. Looking for another back air. Yeah, Looks I like, like it. Mikamura trying to catch him, you know, snooze. And I feel like box mains are usually ready, or box players are usually ready for that tech. Yep. But you're gonna take the guaranteed damage and keep him in a bad spot. Exactly. That's why I sometimes I'm like, you know, even if you feel like you're not bad, like you're not good at actually getting a spike out of it. Still go for the stage fight. You don't yes. get it, you're still getting damage. That's free damage. A lot of early illusions here. Cargo making it work out for him though. Taking the low route, and here we go. Yeah. Now it's his turn. That is the perfect. Oh, this is the teleport cancel, Man. but it still worked out. Yeah. It's just so good, especially with that drift now in this game. And that grab range wow. on Palu and the immediate back throw not giving him a chance to DI properly. Very nice job by Mikamura. He yeah. knew he knew how light box was at the ledge right there and it was gonna yep. KO. Smart. Yeah man, that was definitely a yeet and a half, man. That was ridiculous. <laughs> <Yeet>. <laughs> gonna set up here on this platform, not gonna be able to get that chase. And that's gonna be really problematic, especially when you're gonna be playing a caliber of character like Fox, right? You need to get on those cha those chases. You really need to have those vortex in order because if you're not getting that damage, then it's like that you're not having the advantage state of this character in the first place. You need to have that. Advantage state too is so important against Palu. She doesn't have any really amazing get off me options. I think maybe her jab or her nair out of shield the best option, but there comes a back air from Cargo. He's on the hunt now for the first stock. Commits to a down smash. Wait. Mikamura though. Found his way off the ledge. That was crazy. Yeah, this is good. Double jab. Oh, oh for a okay, roll. Okay. Not today. You have not earned that respect from me, good sir. I feel like that's a DK forward smash. You know what I'm saying? You just yeah. do it the other way because someone tries to roll through you. Because Oh, he showed oh. his hand a little early there with the up smash. It's going to yeah. be a good punish, though. Grab. Back easy. air. Yeah. The old one, too. And such a easy stock right there from Mika. Going to lose his stock here. No. Good DI. Jumps out. You get that teleport on his legend again. Finally, he has the chase for that. But does not have a kill option, unfortunately. So he's going to live another day. Back air. I feel like Mikamura is oh. kind of working on his uh, tech skill mid set. He's just going for the teleport cancels. Hasn't really been able to hit them, but look at that. Up tilt, turnaround grab. Great box option, uh, uh, especially at low percents. So yes. You're not sure the next up tilt will connect. So. Yeah, because they're always going to be afraid of the up tilt, right? Because mm -hmm. if you get hit with that up tilt, best believe, even if though it's not Smash 4, you're still going to get into a, a vortex type situation. Ooh, I was going to say, oh, speaking of vortex. Setup. Oh, okay. Doinking him with the shield right yeah. to the stage. Cargo on the hunt here. He's gonna try to apply some pressure. Nope, he's gonna get caught with a nair, man. You gotta be able to space around Palu. Not only that, but you gotta understand where she can space and where she can move and kind of move around her and force her into a bad spot. And I feel like Cargo unable to do that so far, you yeah. know, throughout this game too. See what he can come up with here though. He's boxing the advantage, which is really, really good. And good nair. Yep, there's gonna be an easy option covered here at the ledge. Where we run it back. Get kicked. Yeah, the boots right now from Cargo are so good. Going for the up tilt. He's going to be looking for an up air. Good air dodge. Just yep. get out of the situation. Oh, he's going to keep chasing. You better get down. Mm -hmm. Oh, you better get down. Yep. There you oh, go. Oh, nice. my goodness. Not a little punish on that teleport. He slid off with the back air, too, which is an incredible right. option. But there there you go. Look at this. Cargo's right back into it. Fox is a crazy character. Called him a glass cannon for years, and he's really showing off the cannon part of it right now. Oh, absolutely. Oh! That's what I like to see, Bam. No angles here. That's what I like to see because Mikamura had gone for so many back airs, ping him into the stage, kind of forced Cargo to go a little bit high there by approaching right at him with his jump, and he went with a down air spike to seal it out, seal out that socket.